Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Is it time for the TLC series to move on and shut the book on the Brown family? As season 19 of Sister Wise unfolds, the sitcom seeks to make old drama new again. Some scenes are antiquated and damning in light of current happenings in the clan. Is it time for the TLC series to move on, bring viewers to the present day, and shut the book on the Brown family? The current season of Sister Wives is damning yet there are some highlights Sister Wives has traditionally required to catch up in its timeline. This feature of the TLC series has been a sore point for fans for years. Of all the seasons of the series thus far, season 19 has the most emotional themes attached to it. Garrison Brown's 2024 death adds imminent tragedy to the story as viewers wonder when and how it will be addressed. It's terrible to witness Janelle Brown speak of Cody and Robin Brown's mistreatment of her and the other wives. But as the women extricate themselves from Cody's emotional grip, they weaken his power over them. Christine Brown also continues to speak out against Cody and Robin this season. But the true exception is Mary Brown. She's telling her side of the tale, ready to put Cody's feet to the fire over their relationship in a way never previously seen on the series. Therefore, although the show was a cash cow for the network, it would have been better to showcase the last year's events, tell how the family has moved on, and close the damning series on a positive note. But that's not the case. Old news can't be the anchor drama of Sister Wives Season 19. Sister Wives Season 19 began with scenes filmed in 2022, one week after Mary and Cody Brown had their breakup chat on Coyote Pass. Cody Brown continues to fume over losing control of his family, and Robin Brown remains bewildered. Janelle seeks a resolution on the still unpaid Coyote Pass, which was finally paid off in June 2023, and Christine Brown is enjoying her single life. She married David Woolley in November 2023. Too much has happened in the past two years to sneak it by as new, commented one fan in a Reddit discussion dedicated to the series. A second concurred, the show is useless anyway. We only get half-truths about everything. A third admirer said, last week during episode one, when Mary said it had been a week since their conversation that happened last season, I turned my TV off and went to bed. I honestly don't need to see another season of the OG wives complaining about Cody not speaking to them. I don't care about the birth of the twins, and I don't need to see Christine dating a man whom we watched her marry. Why not give us a five-minute update and get to 2024 already? Season 19 coincides with important financial developments within the Brown family coincidentally. The stars of Sister Wives are making some huge financial moves as season 19 premieres. This not only adds to the insanity of broadcasting old film, but it also gives additional light on the present Brown family predicament. In one month, Janelle, Mary, Christine, Robin, and Cody Brown made critical life decisions linked to their financial situations, Corresponding with season 19, these rapid adjustments took viewers into the present-day structure of the Brown family. Christine Brown filed a lawsuit against Cody for child support for their youngest kid, Truby Brown. Christine is asking for full custody of their 14-year-old daughter in petition filed on September 16. She is also asking the court to establish the paternity of her youngest daughter as Cody isn't mentioned on Truly's birth certificate as her father. In late August, Mary Brown shut down her business Lizzie's Heritage Inn for renovations. She has not revealed when the firm would open again. Janelle Brown, daughter Maddie, and Maddie's husband Caleb Brush have gone into business together, creating Tada Farms in North Carolina. She also purchased property in the state. Finally, Cody and Robin Brown are selling the Flagstaff, Arizona home that generated much turmoil between the spouses on the TLC series. It is listed for $1.65 million. It's not at all uncommon for reality stars to have cameo profiles. Sister Wise star Cody Brown has his own account and delivers personalized greetings for admirers at a high charge. 
Cody Brown shares his best parenting advice. On Cameo, fans may pay celebs to leave them personalized notes for them. One specific service Cody Brown gives his parenting assistance. However, most fans aren't at all impressed with what he has to say. Decided to have a little look at Cody's Cameo, and he's charging $150 per video. There's a video where he's asked to give advice on being a parent. A Redditor revealed online this week. They attached a cameo of Cody expressing his top parenting recommendations. He says babies are easy to love. Then he says the trick to loving them when they get older and mouthy is to not allow them to do anything to make you resent them. Cody Brown's cameo features a range of different video kinds, although he does charge $150 for a personalized message. Many viewers believe the description on his profile was a bit tone deaf. Cody Brown's personalized cameo videos are a hit with fans of Sister Wives. The description adds, He often gets requests to wish family members a happy birthday or holiday, share words of encouragement, or offer advice on relationships and parenting. Cody's admirers enjoy when he invokes legendary passages from the show, teases his characteristic dancing movements, or jokingly calls out their affection for his lush curls and excellent body. Whether the video is a sincere message or a humorous inside joke, Cody always brings his distinctive charm and passion to make it a great experience for his committed viewers. Redditors rage over the TLC star's message. Overall, the other Reddit users thought the video unpleasant. They shared comments including, Oh mean gee, just when I think I can't hate him any more than I already do. He's truly disgusting. I'm convinced most of his cameo requests are trolls. Who in the heck would ask him for parenting or marriage advice unless it was in hopes of his saying something dumb? Yep, narcissists love babies slash small children because babies won't call out a narc for their horrific behavior. Cody just keeps telling us exactly who he is. Imagine someone asking you about parenting advice and the first thing you think about is the risk of resenting your children, or them doing something to make you resent them. How do you even despise your own children? He's so damaged. What do you think of Cody's cameo prices? Would you pay $150 to obtain a video from him? Add your voice to the topic and write a comment below. Cody stated he was considering skipping his son's wedding because of his divorces. Cody Brown has had plenty of weird situations in season 19 of Sister Wives. Still, his most self-involved moment yet came in episode 3 of the controversial reality TV series. During the show's third episode, Cody stated that he truly considered skipping a family event because of his feelings for his ex-wives. Skipping a little or trivial event wouldn't have been a big concern, but the occasion he referenced was his oldest son's wedding. Cody truly considered not attending Logan Brown and Michelle Petty's October 2022 wedding. Logan and his wife have elected not to appear on the show and live a private life. Neither has responded on Cody's statement, and they presumably won't provide public criticism. Still, we think Cody's feelings were unpleasant, even though he did end up attending. Logan Brown is the eldest son of Cody and Janelle Brown. He's actually the oldest Brown sibling. Logan has been primarily credited with helping to raise his younger siblings when he was just an adolescent. He has been with his now wife for several years. They do not have children but have adopted dogs. Thanks for watching if you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.